Hello, here we are, once again. Say FPV is going to build his fifth custom quadcopter. You're welcome to come along and enjoy the ride. Yes, you're correct. We're using two 306 motors, 1700 kV. This time, he'll install iFlight Shing E Pro motors. Of course, he's going with his custom sleeving option again. Heat shrink tubes for securing the sleeves onto the wire base. You'll agree. As always, everything looks nice and clean. Motors are ready for installation. This time, Say FPV is using Rotor Village original TPUs. Eric, the owner, just like Say FPV, loves the idea of having snap on arm guards. Mounting screws, nor Loctite, will ever touch the TPU parts. Mixing the Loctite and TPU is never a good idea. We think this looks pretty nice, even at this early build stage. Okay, this drone will not build itself. We better get to work and do something about it. First, we need to remove the top plate. If you haven't already, you should. Watch the video where Say FPV is assembling this amazing frame called Mopax. It's designed by our very own, the owner of the Rotor Village FPV shop, the Numb Thumb Tribe King, Eric. By the way, all the parts featured in this build were purchased with our own money, except the Mopax frame. Eric sent it to Say FPV in exchange for some professional product photos of this frame. We are proud to say, all those photos are featured at Rotor Village FPV Shop, advertising this incredible frame and all the extra TPU parts for it. This video wouldn't be what it is right now, if it wasn't for our beloved cookie. Oh, you're awake! You gonna help me? You gonna help me? Hello? Do you help me? <laughs> yes, you can help me. You help me with all the other ones. Hmm? This frame has so much room, it's insane. The original idea was to install the Avatar Nano unit at the back of the frame. But as video progresses, you'll notice Say FPV decided to install it at the front instead, and have the FC ESC stack sitting at the back of the frame. The reason being, Avatar Nano unit comes with rather short camera cable. If installed at the back, it's impossible to reach the camera cage at the front of the frame. Avatar unit sitting at the back was a good idea, but there is a couple of reasons as to why it's not the best idea ever. We'll explain them all in a minute. So, 
Say FPV has changed his mind and decided to install avatar unit behind the camera cage, meaning FC and ESC will settle at the back of the quad. The reasoning behind it, as stated earlier, avatar nano kit comes with quite short camera cable. And the second reason, ESC FC combo is heavier than avatar sky unit and sitting at the back will balance nicely when we install action cam at the front of the quad. I can't do anything because of you. You're bugging me. Cookie is always a lot You're of fun. Me. She brings happiness, joy, and of course, me. a lot of mess with her toys and cheap papers and cardboard. Hmm? Wanna play? <laughs> no biting, no biting, no biting. This is the cable that connects Avatar Nano Unit to our flight controller. So, we have our Avatar Nano Unit successfully connected to the FC. As for the RX, we're going to use Maytech Express LRS 2.4 GHz receiver, a true diversity receiver. Originally, it comes with two dipole antennas, but we're going to replace them with Radiomaster T antennas. Much better. Time to solder this receiver to the flight controller. Of course, we need to prep the wires with solder first. Looking good. Shrink to protect it from the outside elements. Looking real good. Let's plug it into the FC. This time, we're using Vifly Finder 2 as our active buzzer. These are amazing, super loud and have an incredibly bright LED notification. If ever, your quad ends up in tall grass, that part of the field will glow like a tinkerbell in a fluffy soap foam. Okay, we should better stop with these corny dad jokes. Let's get back to some serious work. In order for this buzzer to work, say FPV has to solder buzzer wires to the flight controller. Red wire to 5 volts or BZ plus pad, black wire to ground, and yellow one to the BZ minus pad. It's time to solder our motor wires to the ESC. Prepping the pads with some soldering flux. Time to connect our motor wires. Cleaning 
the board with 70% isopropyl alcohol. We don't want any soldering residue or flux splatters around. This product is a god given for clean FPV builds. A self-adhesive cloth tape. Amazing insulation properties and super light. If you ever have to replace it, leaves no residue behind. It's a breeze to do it. To an inexperienced eye, this might look as a hot wire mess, but trust me, it's not. Everything is nicely organized, it's just building these drones always requires dealing with a lot of small wires. You see what I mean? It looks as clean as it gets, nice and tidy. We've installed diversity receiver at the bottom and two T antennas at the back, one horizontally and another one vertically. Sure, it's angled, but the way our quads fly for the most of the time, that antenna will be vertical. Also, this is a poor man's 3D printing. When you don't have a 3D printer, a soldering iron with dedicated tip can do wonders. Say FPV has made this Frankenstein contraption himself. Sure, you might find it unattractive, but it works. It holds these antennas like no one's business. Time has come to put this carbon bird together. We're literally in love. How can something look so innocent and tame, and in the same time, fly and sound so aggressive? Puzzling. We can't wait for our maiden flight with this build. At the end, say FPV was out of luck, everything worked perfectly fine, except for the Avatar Nano Unit. After a lot of testing and some back and forth with CADEX, the conclusion was it's a dead on arrival unit. Unfortunately, a lemon. Eric, the owner of the Rotor Village FPV shop, was holding our back, and this unit is about to be returned and replaced with another one. In the meantime, while we're waiting for a new Avatar Nano Sky unit, say FPV did not want to delay finishing of this custom build, so he's installed another Avatar HD Pro unit we've had laying around. More memory, better camera, etc. Quadcopters can't fly if they don't have propellers. This time, we're going with HQ Juicy Prop J40. In pink.
Isn't she a beauty? Of course, our cookie wouldn't be our cookie if she's not doing what she does the best. Destroying paper and cardboard boxes. What you doing? What you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm, Bobby. Just don't eat my drones, okay? No. You know you can do that. All good, as long as it's making her happy. My little puppy, my. Stop flying.